Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thespina or you can call me Quinzella like my username and today I am very excited to show you what I will be reviewing. So as you all gorgeous people might have known or the beauty junkies might know there is a new Jeffrey palette which is called -da, the Androgyny palette. So I was very excited to actually review it for you guys, show you some swatches and uh, afterwards I'm going to do that makeup look. So if you do, if you are interested to see how I made that makeup look, keep watching. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the um, palette. Um, it came in the case like that and it is absolutely stunning. I like the color, I like the name, I like everything about that palette. When I actually saw um, Jeffree Star announcing that he's going to come up with a new palette and he made a whole video about it, I actually fell in love with the colors because I don't like nude colors, okay? I don't like uh, browns, I don't like, you know, whites. Those are colors that you like I have a thousand of nude palettes so I, I didn't I wasn't really interested about it and knowing Jeffrey of course he would come up with something that you know it's a bit exciting so when he came up with this palette I was like okay you know what I'm going to buy it and that's it so it came in a lovely box like this I kept the box yes I kept it for you guys and it is a nice reddish color now it is cruelty free and it is vegan free which is amazing for you babes who are vegans so so for you babes who are in love with jeffrey products and you're vegan you are able to get your hands on that so that is awesome isn't it and it comes it goes for 45 dollars which is around 42 euro so and then you have to pay shipping it depends on where exactly you are because it does have uh, international shipping so wherever you are it depends on um, the place you get the um, basically you get your own um, um, sipping cost but uh, I believe that for the colors that you get for the palette because they're pretty big pans as you can see they're pretty big pans and um, I think that it's worth it now I did open the palette and it has those lovely colors now excuse my blue because when I did get mine after a thousand years because I was waiting for it for a long long time I mean I bought mine when it launched which was I think two months ago then I had to send it to my American address and then from my American address it has to come to me so you know all this took a month and a half and um, when it came I was really really disappointed because my blue color swallow was a bit broken now to be honest it's okay because I can still use it I mean it's not completely broken but I don't know what's wrong with the whole palette but every time I close it and I open it it keeps on have a bit blue everywhere so that is a bit of a letdown but as a palette I was really excited to get it and I did love the colors so you know I will play with the colors a bit more but I do love uh, the packaging the packaging is deadly and um, it is like that for a uh, crocodile uh, skin so it's like a um, you know um, a faux leather as well but it's like a crocodile skin so it is it's lovely and I do love that it's so huge I mean you can I'm gonna show you just a normal palette I'll show you the Too Faced Sweet Beats palette and I'll show you the Androgyny palette and you can see that it is huge okay so yeah and um, I don't think that you're gonna go um, you're gonna empty that pan uh, anytime soon and it is for 20, 12 months so I mean if you do empty that pan in 12 months go you but I know I'm not so when you open it it has a lovely mirror and it has like 
the crocodile skin here and it's it's, it's lovely but let's talk about the colors I do love the colors there are, there are only three shimmers one there's only here the frosting is shimmer the deserve is a shimmer and then we have the fetish which is a lovely red which is again similar and all the rest are matte so um, I, to be honest fur balls to Jeffrey because the mats are really really difficult the mats to go and I'm going to go through this and then I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys so the first one is frosting it's like a, a gold shimmer then we have the safe horror which is a brownie light brown matte we have charm which is an orange matte we have deja vu which is a shimmer and it's more of a bronze shimmer then we have dominatrix which is a dark brown we have androgyny which i could say it's a purple fetish which is a shimmer and it's a red shimmer then we have military which is a military color it's green it's light green then we have poison which is a tile and then we have swallow which is blue and i really love these two colors but in the swatches it might be a little bit different because blues are you know they do they do swatch different on the hand um, than on your face on your eyeballs when you're gonna see the video and if you're gonna see the video of me uh, putting it on so I'm going to do some swatches for you first is frosting now to be honest guys there are loads of fallout just to so say you know so that's frosting if you can see now maybe that's a so first is frosting then we have safe word maybe in my skin because my skin tone is a bit more of a olive skin it might not look that well but trust me it looks different on your eyes so um let's keep going because I'm bubbling now then is the charm which is the orange we have deja vu lovely just so pigmented guys then we have dominatrix even in my skin color it's so so pigmented then we have androgyny then we have fetish which i'm gonna put over here maybe lovely guys it's just so so pigmented so pigmented then we have military which doesn't swatch well but it's different on your eyes then we have poison that doesn't swatch well but like I said it's different on your eyes and then we have swallow which as you can see it is really really pigmented I'd say that all 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 the colors are so pigmented and like I said the pans are huge okay so Jeffrey is famous about his huge pans and the highlights are huge so I wouldn't really expect anything less from him but I am so 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 uh, happy that I got this palette and it does call my name like I said I'm not a neutral girl and I would basically recommend this palette it comes for $45 and for $45 you get 10 colors that you can play with and you can experiment if you are a girl like me who likes experiment with her eyes and put different colors then it would be for you all right guys so I already uh, put primer on my eyes it is from MAC in paint pot Pinderly as I think yes from MAC paint pot Pinderly well basically it's the same as your face you need to put some primer on your eyeballs before you put some eyeshadow so that it can stay a little bit longer in case you don't know but that's my favorite one because I I do love it so we we'll go on and we're going to make the look that I show you with the palette because I absolutely love these colors basically the blue here were just calling my name they were like oh Gators, you need to buy this because basically I am in love with, with the, the blues I love the red one so let's go on and see how it's going to go on now I'm going to take my MAC 217 this is my favorite brush for blending so I'm going to start with a safe word 
because basically that's the only mat that I can use as a base and we go on with now to be honest there's a lot of fallout but we'll see what is going to happen so no you just make sure to blend it good because if you don't blend it good it's going to look a little bit weird so I'm gonna go on again as you can see there's a lot of fallout but that's why you have to make sure to tap it before tap the brush just before you use it on your face just in case you know there's a lot of fallout on your face and you wouldn't really like that because then you're gonna look like well you wouldn't really like that so I'm going on again and to be honest guys, you can just get a little bit of product and then build it up because that way, you know, you can control how much you want on your eyelid because, I mean, if you go and get a lot of product and you just go on and, you know, um, you try to blend it, it's going to be a lot of product and then you won't be able to get it off. So it's better if you just get a little bit of product and just try to build it, you know, it depends on how much would you like how much product would you like to have in so I'm just gonna go in again okay I think that's more than enough and a little bit more on the other side now I think that's that's a nice one so then I'm gonna go with charm as you can see here with charm and I'm gonna put a little bit as well I'm gonna blend it in the eyelid as well and just make it a little bit more bright because to be honest guys safe word looks like a, um, a really um, light brown but it's not as you can see so I'm putting a little bit more yellow or orangey anyway to make it a little bit more depth so and then I'm gonna go with the other out I'm just gonna now as you can see it has changed a little bit you know we has gone a bit more orangey but that's the thing you need then afterwards I'm going to get the androgyny because of course that is amazing and I'm going to put a little bit I'm going to use my 239 MAC brush because of course it's my favorite as well so please excuse that it's not really uh, clean but I keep on using it I, I mean I love it you know I've, I've been already uh, I've already changed two of these so now I'm going to tap it in the inner corner in the out corner sorry okay and I'm going to put a little bit more just gonna tap it in okay and I'm going to get a little bit from the other side and just tap it in for some reason the one eye doesn't want to cooperate the other eye looks a little bit more easy to blend and you know apply eyeshadow and stuff so I don't know if you have the same problem or not, you can let me know in the comments below. I basically have that problem with one eye. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a clean-ish brass, you know, one that I didn't use for from the same colors. And um, this is from Sigma, the E35, and this is basically a blending brush as well but because it's a little bit more fluffier I can use it and I kind of try to transfer uh, put the eye shadow a little bit inside so I'm trying to blend it in but I don't put too much of the androgyny because I believe that this is a little bit darker as a color and I think that it's going to be 
a bit too much if I add so many colors. But what really calls me in here is the frosting. I mean, that shimmer, guys. Oh, dear. So I'm going to clean my 239 MAC with my um, brush cleaner. Okay, as you can see, it's, it's pretty horrible. So please don't look at it. Okay, I didn't have time to clean it yet. But I will, so don't worry about it. And I'm going to get the frosting. Okay, I'm going to get frosting. Now, it has a lot of fallout, okay? Just just beware of that. But the colors are just absolutely amazing. And I'm going to put it in my inner corner. And I just tap, guys, okay? Because uh, this, this brush is specifically for tapping, okay, on your uh, eyelids. So... But I'm basically going to... Put just in the inner corner of my eyelid. I'm gonna try and keep the other side with the androgyny. So I'm not gonna put it all over my eyelids. And I'm gonna get again my brush after I clean it a little bit. My 239 and I'm gonna put a little bit more androgyny just to build it in because I have a fear that it doesn't really blend in a lot. Now. I just need to blend it in. Now I know that for Jeffree Star this is like the neutral palette. I don't blame him because he does have colors, you know, and the Killer Frost was all really, really bright colors. So I can understand why for him this is a neutral palette, but it has loads of possibilities. Now you see what I'm going to do with the blue. Now I'm getting again the Sigma brush, the clean brush, and I'm just kind of trying to get rid of any excess and trying to blend things in as much as possible. So that's it for this for the upper one so now I'm going to take my oh, if I can actually find it because I have like tons of brushes I'm sorry about that guys Now I'm going to take my MAC 228 and I'm going to get the Poison, okay, which is a tile one, and I'm going to put it on the under eye area. Now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's only me who's doing that with a, you know, the weird look. But, you know, this is a look that you don't really want to put too much of a dial because if you put a lot of the blue, it's going to look really, like your eyes are going to look really tiring. So, um, it will look like you're really, really tired. So, what I would like to do is, I don't want to put a lot of uh, blue eyeshadow under my eyes. I'm just going to put it until the end what my eyes are finishing, my inside of my eye is finishing, and then I'm going to put something else on my outside, on my inner under eye area corner. So I'm going to get again the frosting and my two, two, uh, eight. Okay, and I'm going to just apply a little bit on the outside because as you can see. This eye now looks a little bit bigger and it looks like, you know, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, if I if I kept on putting blue uh, all over my under eyelid, I have a feeling that it was going to look really tired. So I would look like I'm basically, you know, haven't slept for three days or something. So I'm just going to put it on my under area as, as you can see it has my eyes have opened and has brightened up a little bit so that's exactly the um, uh, effect that you'd like to have I mean you wouldn't like your eyes to look 
very very tired you know you wouldn't like that you know so um that's me guys and for the end i just want to experiment and see if this is gonna work i'm going to get swallow which is <laughs> when it came you know it broke so uh, just gonna get a little bit of that because this is kind of dark and i'm going to use it for Just a tiny amount all over your eyes. <laughs> okay, hey, when that happens. Now, this is me, guys. This is a look that I actually wanted to create. Like when I saw this palette, it's it's one of the looks that I'd like to create, you know, because I like the uh, frosting. I liked most of the colors, you know, they do. I, I do like colors anyway. I don't like, you know, really neutral ones because I have loads of them. So whatever is different, I would like to go and buy it and, you know, experiment with my eyes, with my makeup, look a little bit different than normal. I'm gonna go and I'm going to just, you know, put a little bit of a mascara and a little bit more on my eyes and I'm gonna be right That's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give thumbs up and if you didn't, don't watch me anymore I guess uh, if you do want to see um, upcoming videos please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye